why should I go through the grass process? So let's uh, talk about grass real quick here. Grass, G-R-A-S, the acronym, stands for generally regarded as safe. It is a uh, pathway um, through, uh, through, United, through the United States uh, with the FDA. And um, it's basically to prove the safety of your ingredient. That's intended for the use of food, but it could also be covered for dietary supplements. Now, um, some questions that folks have been asking us are around grass, and particularly, you know, do I have to go through grass notice? That and the grass notice is the pathway where you file your grass dossier through the FDA. You wait until the FDA gives you a no objection and no further comments at the end. Um, so you really have to think through when you're going through uh, a grass notice. Now, there's clearly a lot of benefits. Um, often, uh, you know, big multinational uh, companies, their buyers are looking for that uh, GRN number. They're, they're looking for it to be on the inventory database. And it's just primarily liability. They want to make sure that FDA has looked at it and, uh, and everything's fine on the FDA side. And they will then go ahead and Put that PO in for your ingredient. But not every buyer uh, is necessarily looking for your ingredient to be on the, uh, the grass uh, inventory database. You could have what's called self-affirmed grass whereby uh, you've prepared, you've vetted uh, all, the, all your evidence, um, the data is there to support safety, and um, you basically prepare a dossier. You may have an expert panel review it, maybe you don't. It all depends. There's many factors that can play into that. But you, you uh, basically can, can have that dossier in hand and provide it to your buyers. I can tell you we've seen in the last about 18 months, there are more buyers today and back then that are asking the, the ingredient supplier, show us proof that your grass, whether it's self-affirmed or with a grass notice. And that's just, you know, risk, uh, risk aversion. That's really a, a big piece of it. Um, so it's really important that you, you do get, uh, you know, you go through one of these two pathways, self-affirmed or the grass inventory. Now one thing you need to keep in mind too, if you do apply uh, through, uh, through FDA and try to get a grass notice, if you change your mind for any reason and you withdraw your, um, your application uh, from the FDA, that doesn't disappear off of the inventory. So what happens is it'll state withdrawn. Now. The optics of that may not look that great because a buyer may see it online and they may think, oh, why did they remove their, why did they withdraw their, uh, their grass dossier application for, for, um, for a grass notice? And so that may end up, you know, just the optics again may, may get a consumer, uh, may get your buyer to think uh, twice about buying your ingredients. So, you need to think seriously, do I go grass notice or do I stay self-affirmed? You can always um, you know, apply at any time for the grass notice. And also, once you apply for the grass notice, um, you can still be uh, getting buyers to purchase your, your ingredient. You do have basically a self-affirmed uh, grass notice in hand. So something uh, to really think about um, when, you, uh, when you go down this, this pathway. There is also the NDIN uh, pathway, the new dietary ingredient notification. That is for ingredients uh, used with the intended use for dietary supplements. Um, and that, that pathway is uh, very similar to, to how it is for, for grass. Um, but you, know, you can reach out to us and we can, we can help you uh, walk through the difference between grass and NDIN uh, for the U.S. market. Uh, this is Andrew Parshad from Grass Experts, a division of Quality Smart Solutions. We look forward to serving your compliance needs.